This is a video on how to wire the Estate Swing 433 receiver to the Apollo 835 or 836 board or the Apollo 635, 636 board. We are going to use three wires. Notice that the receiver already has a jumper wire connecting one of the CH1 terminals and the ground. If you don't have this jumper in place, you will need to cut a short piece of wire and make this connection. I've connected the three wires to the receiver. I have my green going into the first CH1 terminal. This CH1 terminal does not have the jumper in it. I have my white going into the second CH1 terminal. This is the terminal that does have the jumper going in it. I have my black going into the V positive terminal. And the other end of the jumper wire is going into ground, GND. On the control board, you're going to find three different locations. The first pin, the second pin block, and the lower left-hand pin block, where you have the same labeled terminals. You're going to have ground, input, and 12V. Your CH1 terminal that does not have the jumper wire in it, in our case green, is your input, which is the center terminal. The second CH1 terminal that does have the jumper in it and is connected also to ground is your ground. We have a white in there. The V positive terminal will connect to the 12 V terminal on the control board. We have the black in the V positive terminal. Some key points to this. Notice how I mentioned which terminal on the receiver pairs up with which terminal on the gate opener. I didn't emphasize what color to use in there. I just said what color we happen to be using in there. Colors of the wires are inconsequential as long as you have the correct terminals matched up on the control board with the receiver. So just pay attention to which color you put in which terminal and where you have it going on the control board. Secondly, I had mentioned that you were going to see three different terminals that had the same labeling. You can utilize a receiver in any of those three terminals.